Hello, welcome to Blossom and Rise. It's your girl Amber Toysella. I want to thank you for um, being here and checking out the weekly collective, uh, what the energy is for the collective today. Um, if you like what you've been seeing on my channel and resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and share the content. And also go below and hit the subscribe button. I mean the little bell because it, it notifies you every time I post um, a vlog. And you may have to do that in your settings because it may not let you, I don't know, but you want to stay subscribed, okay? All right. So today I'm going to be using the Energy Oracle card deck. It's one of my favorite decks to check out what the energy is today. Also, if you hear any background noise, if you hear kids yelling or an airplane, um, I'm not at home right now. I'm in Nevada and I'm at a family's house, but I wanted to make sure that I got this video out today. So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, so this message may not resonate for everybody and that's fine. It's cool. But if it does, please comment below and let me know because... I want to know right all right so what is the energy of this week for this person what is this energy Ooh. okay okay the energy of the day mercury retrograde i wonder how your guys's Mer mercury retrograde is going right now because mine hasn't been horrible mine's have been like um emotional for sure and just like releasing things um but even more so because it's like it's in pisces so it's like extra emotional i'm already super in my feels so now i'm like super extra in my feels about things but you know it is what it is and you know t people tend to like think badly of the mercury retrograde um i think it's hard but oh there's a pup out here it's not we just need to change the mindset about it because everything's about growth guys learning and growing releasing what no longer serves us really okay okay so what else what's the energy of this week spirit okay that one wanted to come out but it did not so that's cool okay that one wanted to come out but it did not so let me just start with the cards that i have now um so what I'm feeling like, oh, this is really good. So I'm feeling like um, this week, I feel like, or recently, you've been having um, a lot of stress about finances. And, um, and the reason why I say that is because the financial constraints card is, this is it right here, but it's backwards. So that just tells me that... Um, you have been feeling really stingy with your money, really stressed out about money and whatnot. And I mean, it's tax season, so that should be alleviated. But I don't like with the tax breaks and stuff like that. Like, I know people are getting less money back than they have been. I'm not all political, but I think that's what I've heard. And I've, I've, I've like, see, that's true. But I, with you, it's just like, I feel like there has been um, really tight with money. But I feel like that's, 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 changing because we have the sun here that's the first card that actually came up and this is a card of like new beginnings okay so it's like either you have invested money or you have um started um you you came into some money like um a settlement you got a bonus at work or something like that it's like um it's it's it's, it's changing that um that mindset of like being restricted to money because you're not restricted to money okay and also in the same token i feel like um an aspect of you is healing because you have the fourth chakra and that is healing that's my healing card right um the fourth chakra is you know the love center um for me it's where my soul sits um but i feel like you're feeling more positive about money and that's good because your mindset really is a lot i mean you attract what you put out there and it's really true y'all the law of attraction okay so money so what else do we um do you need to know this week okay so we have one card that came out um ooh. okay what's another card here please so the, the next card that came out oh i had a lot of cards fall out is the deceit card um oh let me see Okay. This could be about money too. This could be about like someone telling you that they were going to pay you back. They asked you for money and 
um, you were like, oh, you know, I really can't do it. And they're like, man, I like, look, I'll pay you back. It's good. Like, you know me. But I feel like there's deceit there. I feel like the time limit of them borrowing money has passed. Okay. So um, that may resonate for some of you guys. All right. All right. So the next card that comes out is appreciation. And the happy family card is in reverse. Okay. So it's this way. Okay, so that tells me that there's some conflict at home. Um, and the appreciation card came out first. So that tells me that the conflict at home and it's right underneath the financial constraints card too. So I feel like um, this could be related to family. Like as like um, I'm I this is what I'm getting like child support is coming up. Um, so perhaps like Child support hasn't been coming in, but now it's coming in now. But then there's just there's, there's still like this discord, and I feel like it, it's a, it's about money, um, and just not like there's not like an equal exchange of money or whatever. But you know when we look at the things that we're grateful for, it changes things around. Instead of looking so focused on like um, what we're not, what we don't have, what's not happening or whatever, if it it changes things, and that's why I feel like the financial constraints card is flipped. Okay, um, tell me more about what this um, discord in the family is, please. What is this discord in the family? Discord in family. That could be also, that could be the deceit card as well. Um, that's happening in the family around money. Okay. What is, give me more on the family. Happy family, please. Very interesting. Oh, that one flipped out, but it didn't come out. Oh, okay. Come on, spirit. Don't let up now. Okay. Give me more information about the happy family card. Please. Uh-oh. One came out. Let's see. Action card. Okay. So, I feel like this is temporary. Like, this is not going to be a long-lasting conflict that's happening. Because the action card is coming out. And we have the the white and the black horse so it's like the um the balance like the yin and yang balance of moving forward there's like no hesitation so i feel like it's 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 a small discord it may be about money someone lying but i feel like it's going to be taking action moving forward okay all right what else in this week oh oh okay yep okay the card that fell out is the door to value card okay so this this talks about money and um you know like new doors opening for money and it's it that just coincides with the financial constraints in reverse it's like okay you're gonna get money you're, you're gonna be getting more money you're gonna get like a bonus at work or you're gonna get a new job that provides more money like oh i like this so this is like more oh oh my god so this reading is all about money guys i love it because the next card that came out is woman holding a coin, woman holding a coin. So this tells me that, you know, like you're, you're, you're being really good with money. Like there's like your mindset about money has shifted and like take that little loss of somebody like not paying you back and lying about it. Okay. Because you have a lot of good fortune coming your way. I feel like you've been really responsible with your money. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you could be going on a vacation soon, like taking an investment and doing something like that. Like, um, with you or your family or doing something like this. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else that you want to say? Anything else that didn't come out all the way? Wow. This is like a hella positive ass reading about money. Y'all. That's what's up. I love to see it. I love to see women and men alike, you know, striving. <laughs> Okay, so the card that came out next is Storm Warning, okay? So this tells me, like, this is like the calm before the storm. Um, conflict, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, and I feel like this could also actually be um, about the family, the constant, the, um, disconnecting the family as well. We do have the action card that came right after it, which was what I clarified, but I feel like 
um, the storm warning is something that's going to be coming ahead. So maybe the discord in the family is going to be going to a divorce, a separation. I feel like there's a lot of emotions involved because there's a lot of water in this card. But you know what? Storms are good because storms come and they clear out things that are no longer needed and they help provide... Um, um what's the word i'm looking for like um like water like in california we have like a really bad drought right now it's february and it's like in the 60s and 70s like that is ridiculous it only snowed where i live it snows it snowed for two days in january and for the thanksgiving the week of thanksgiving like we need the, the rain and the snow we need that moisture to help with fire season so what i'm saying with that is that you know, storms are scary, but they're needed. They're needed to clear things out, okay? So if there's discord, know that, you know, it, it's going to get, it could get worse. And it could lead to separation, divorce, and whatnot. But know that it's just to clear things out so that you can have a, a new beginning, okay? But overall, like, this reading is, like, really positive. Like, there's a lot of new beginnings with money and you coming into money and spending money and having a good time with money. Um, but I feel like you are responsible with money, too, as well. Remember to be grateful for the things that you have and don't look at things that you don't have, okay? But I do see that there is gratitude here with the appreciation card, okay? So, again, if this reading resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and share the content. And then comment below because I would really love to know. As well as if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because why not? <laughs> I'm on there more than I post on here. And also, I do daily readings in my Facebook group, which is the Blossoming Souls group, which I think I do have a link down below, okay? I'm available for personal readings as well, so holla at your girl, all right? And if you want to see me do a specific reading, let me know because I love it. I did ha I did get some, like, love cards because I want to start doing, like, Soulmate and Twin Flames readings since I am on that journey as well. Um, so just work with me. If you, um, like what you see here and you would like to make a donation, I have a link below to my Amazon wish list, which is just to form more Oracle cards so that I can just, you know, have more of a selection. Um, but yeah, so thanks for viewing guys. Let me know how it resonates. I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye.